So today we're going to be talking about a mitochondrial disorder called MELOS, which is, stands for mitochondrial encephalopathy, lactic acidosis, and stroke-like episodes. And so as you can imagine, it comes to us as stroke-like recurrent episodes. They're a little bit of an atypical type of stroke, but it can present in neuro-ophthalmology as any of the stroke syndromes, homonymous hemianopsias, diplopia, the usual range of things that are associated with regular strokes. The key and differentiating features are the presence of the elevated lactate and the encephalopathy, a mitochondrial encephalopathy. As you know, there's some overlap between these different mitochondrial disorders. So some of the patients have vision loss, like labor hereditary optic neuropathy has optic atrophy. Some patients have seizure disorder. And because the mitochondria are uh, particularly valuable in high metabolic tissue, the structures that are usually affected are brain, kidney, hearing, eye, and we got to worry about cardiac conduction deficits, uh, but really any organ system can be involved. Because it's a, a mitochondrial disorder, they often have exercise intolerance, and a muscle biopsy can be performed to look for ragged red fibers in mitochondrial disease. But usually we're going to start with the blood tests as opposed to labor, hereditary optic neuropathy, where the primary mutations are in complex one of the uh, electron transport chain. In MELOS, the, the most common association is the 3243-80G. Uh, and so we can test patients who have mitochondrial encephalopathy, lactic acidosis, and stroke-like episodes for mitochondrial DNA mutation. And the other thing that we're gonna be looking for is the increase in the lactic acid. That lactic acid spike can be seen on the imaging study of the brain with MR spectroscopy. So spectroscopy divides the pixel into its chemical spectro spectrum with spectroscopy. And we can see in those patients that they have a peak for the lactate. You can also measure this in the blood. As you know, the mitochondria are utilizing the Krebs cycle to gain the ATP out of glycolysis. And so if you have a mitochondrial deficit, the pyruvate, which is the entry molecule into the Krebs cycle, is shunted over into the anaerobic pathway for pyruvate dehydrogenase leading to lactate. So the LA in MELAS stands for lactic acidosis, from the block in the mitochondrial function from pyruvate into the Krebs cycle being shunted over to the anaerobic pathway and leads to the lactic acidosis, the LA in MELAS. So whenever we are dealing with a patient who has multiple recurrent stroke-like episodes, has a mitochondrial encephalopathy and lactic acidosis, you should be thinking about MELAS and we will order the test, the genetic test for the mitochondrial DNA usually 3243, and we can use MR spectroscopy on the stroke-like episode to try and detect the lactate peak on MR spectroscopy. And it can present to us in any of a myriad of ways that are mitochondrial, vision loss, hearing loss, cardiac disease, kidney disease, because the highly metabolic tissues are more susceptible to mitochondrial disease.